Our eyes enable us to see by perceiving only those rays in the that have Devices such as microscopes and telescopes always work according to the structure of our eyes and the light they are able to perceive. If light had very slightly different properties, then it would have been impossible to develop functional devices like the microscope or telescope. Our eyes have been designed to distinguish that form of light emitted by the sun that gives life to our planet. The fact that very powerful visible light moves in relatively short wavelengths makes it biologically possible for us to detect it. In order to see extended radio waves, we would have to have eyes as big as satellite antenna. And our eyes detecting infrared rays would serve no purpose. In such an event, we would constantly be distracted because every object emitting light would do so at those wavelengths. If we were able to see infrared light, then the room you are sitting in would radiate brightly from top to bottom. Because since it is hot, the eye itself emits infrared rays. There is no doubt that such a way of seeing things would make the world uninhabitable for us. The brightly colored rays that make up visible light have different wavelengths. These wavelengths vary between 39 and Isaac Asimov, one of the most renowned scientists of the 20th century, describes the importance of the delicate arrangement of the wavelengths of light by saying, The shortness of the wavelengths is very important. The reason light waves travel in straight lines and cast sharp shadows is that they are incomparably smaller than ordinary objects. Waves can curve around an obstruction only when the obstruction is not much larger than the wavelength. Even bacteria, for instance, are vastly wider than light, so light can define them sharply under a microscope. If the wavelength of the rays that constitute visible light were any shorter, then we would be able to see neither a grain of sand on the beach, nor microorganisms under the microscope. 